Um, the last person that we will uh, hear from tonight is Shea Patron. So I'm here tonight um, as a parent. Um, I love our room full of heroes, our teachers. They need our support. Uh, parents, though, are the number one supporter of their children. And it has come to my um, understanding that the ninth graders have been reading a book by Sherman Alexei called The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. And there are some very pornographic terms in this book that has a parent no parent really should be okay with. I'm going to read a small amount of expert, uh, excerpt. excerpt. Yep, that's right. I admit that I masturbate. I'm proud of it. I'm good at it. I'm ambidextrous. If there were a professional masturbation league, I'd get drafted number one and make millions of dollars. And maybe you're thinking, well, you shouldn't really be talking about masturbation in public. Well, tough. I'm going to talk about it because everybody does it and everybody likes it. And if God hadn't wanted us to masturbate, then God wouldn't have given us thumbs. So I thank God for my thumbs. But the thing is, no matter how much my, uh, time my thumbs and I spend with the curves of imaginary women, I am much more in love with the right angles of buildings. Um, I, I just can't believe that, you know, 14 and 15 year old kids are, are reading this in the classroom, uh, especially without parents knowing. You know, it's one thing if parents know and can say, yes, I approve of my child reading this kind of language, or no, I do not. But the fact is some children were actually told not to bring this homework home, um, which is very disturbing in and of itself. Um, I'm 45 years old, and I've never kind of uh, had any sort of books like this in my time, and nor, nor have my older children. Um, uh, somebody had mentioned something about sex education one time and the things taught in that class and how much more grotesque they are, but this is an English class. And I, I would just love to see some true um, educational value in reading the classics. And, you know, by the way, this is poorly written crap. It's just poorly written. I could write it, and I'm no, no English major of any sort. Um, the, the lewdness of the material, you know, would, would we be comfortable with this in a workplace? You know, if, if you can't have the conversation in a workplace, you surely should not be having it in the school. And so this brings me back to why is there no homework sometimes? Is this a way to make it so that parents are not um, getting the information about what is actually going on in the classroom? So as I look behind me at the many heroes here, um, I don't know if this was a personal choice of teachers or if this is a public curriculum thing, but I do know that they are heroes and I appreciate them. I appreciate them in our classrooms, but you know what? There are children. We are the parents and we have a right to know when there's something very lewd going on in the classroom and things that are above their head. They're kids, they're kids one time. They get just one time. Give them that, thank you. Well, thank you. And I want to say I, we, we appreciate hearing from, from everybody. And um, so again, thank you for being with us this evening. The next item on our agenda is uh, <clears throat> any request from the board to remove any topic from our consent agenda. Uh, I would like to remove the current bills and special checks. Okay. Anything, any other? I don't remember. I'm, do we need a motion for that? I can't remember. Or just an acceptance. I, th I think the board members just remove it. Where is it going to go? And, and, yeah. Well, it can go after we've got the rest of them. Yeah. Okay. Any other, any other? All right. So it's been requested to remove the current bills and special checks. Uh, from our consent agenda, and then we will um, address that topic after our consent agenda. The rest of it is approved. So uh, um, the motion is now, um, as I said, uh, to approve our consent agenda, excluding the current bills and special checks totaling. That would be part B. So with that motion, please may I hear... Uh, 
A motion. A motion. I'll you. make that motion. Thank you. And a second, please. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor or any other comments and concerns first? All righty. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So that... Yeah. Uh, I'm opposed. I'm opposed. Oh, okay. So it was... I'm counting now. Dave, you were an I. You were an I. Yeah. Anna? And I was and Justin. So it's 4-2. Okay. okay. So that um, obviously does not pass unanimously, but it does pass due to the majority. All right. So we are now going to go to um, the suggestion to take the current bills and special checks totaling $3,505,541.17 um, and dress that individually. And what I would like to do is ask for a motion and a second, please, to approve that. And then we will have an opportunity af directly after that to have a conversation. Thank you. So may I hear a motion to approve that? I'll make the motion. Thank you, and a second. I'll second. Thank you. All right. So we've come to the comments and concerns. Okay, so the reason I took this part out was um, just to address the book issue. Um, we were buying curriculum with taxpayers' money. And um, first of all, I have to say thank you to the student that brought this book forward mm -hmm. and to the parents that also came forward with this. I think this is something that um, us as a board uh, cannot let go and we will need to, um, I would like to follow up with this issue sooner than later. Um, it is very disturbing to me, even as I have um, three children in the school district, um, one of which is in this ninth grade. Um, so that's the only reason I took the um, check portion out was to segue into that. Um, I don't see the point of this book. Um, I, we have thousands of books, um, good ones. And our job is um, to provide a solid educational material for these kids to learn and to thrive um, in society. And we can do better, we really can. Um, so as a board, I'd like us um, sooner than later at some point to go down this road and talk about this. Anybody else? So, so, so oh, I'm sorry. Just, just so I'm clear, you're holding the three million five hundred five thousand five hundred forty-one dollars and seventeen cents hostage because you want to discuss a book that. I mean, that would be something that obviously would go to our superintendent to have discussion about and to look at. So basically hurting all the, the whole ISD 31 and the students because you wanted to bring that forward. Am I understanding that correctly? I just want to make sure I understand this. I took that out to be able to talk about it. I'm not holding it hostage. I just, for something, to be able to talk about it it was that, I mean, I could have added it to part of, to add into the agenda, um, but just thought that this was more of an easier way to be able to segue it into it. So no, I'm not holding it hostage to approve um, the current bills. So it has nothing to do with the money or anything else on here. You just wanted to be able to bring that up so that that could be a discussion. Is that is that correct? Well, yes and no. I mean, we are purchasing, what do you think the, the curriculum is being purchased with this money, right? I mean, I, I yeah. Okay. Right? Okay. So I think that we're clear that it's still an item to be voted on. And it was just an opportunity to make a comment about spending public dollars on curriculum. Oh. And Jeremy wants to um, chime in here. Just want to make sure we're clear. Um, so we do have processes in place for this. We are following those processes. Um, that actually started this morning. Um, so we're working on the process. So really, uh, the conversations at the board table really won't 
help that process go forward because we have those established processes. Be, be, please be what processes are you referring sure. to? Thank you. So we have processes for challenge resources. Okay. We have processes for when there's a parent complaint. And so those are the things that we're, we're bringing forward. Um, as with anything though, it takes time to diligently uh, go through the process. Uh, this is not something that we're gonna be reactionary on. And so I do wanna make sure that the board is aware that we did start that process. You know, we don't sit on our hands. We, we move forward with things. And so we are advancing that. Uh, so obviously I'd recommend to um, approve the, the bills moving forward. But I think that just so that everyone understands we are working on that and we will obviously report back when I have more information. Thank you. Any I'd other just comments? Like to, sorry, I'd just like to say too that I, I agree that this needed to be addressed given the uh, significance of the subject and the community's concern about the book. So I do appreciate what you said, Anna, and it is a matter that we're gonna we're gonna get down the bottom to. So just so the community knows that this is definitely a priority for us as a board, it is, at least for me it is, um, to make sure that our students are protected. So uh, just know, be reassured, we're working on it, and thank you. Okay, anybody else? Yeah, I would like to add in as well that uh, when this came to light to me, I was, uh, took the time to read it and look at it and frankly be quite disgusted with that. And I think probably even more concerning to me was that children were told not to take this material home to show their parents or just keep it at school, leave the books at school, that type of a thing. And, and uh, that's very concerning to me because parents are not aware. And I think we all know from COVID days that parents stood looking at monitors at home and were like, that's what's going on in school. That's how it came to light in a lot of different things. And here we have it, uh, a, somebody has been willing to go ahead and say, this is concerning. And, and I appreciate them coming forward like that. And we will follow the process that it, it takes to resolve that. I do want to just for clarification, um, you know, we don't have all the information at this point on, on what happened and so forth. So again, we're gonna follow the process, but uh, we, we don't have all the information at this point. And that's what I was gonna say, Jeremy, allegedly, because this is just what we're hearing. I don't think any one of us have been in that classroom and, and heard those words be said. So just remembering that it's just an alleged thing that we're looking into. Okay, I think we've heard from everybody this evening. Um, I would suggest that everybody read the book. So it's not just three sentences, thank you. So we're going to, I'm going to ask the, the motion is to approve the current bills and special checks. So um, all those in favor say aye. We actually need a what? motion and a second to approve them. Oh, I thought we did that. Never mind. You're paying attention. Okay. May I hear, may I hear a motion please to uh, approve the current bills and special checks totaling three million plus dollars? I'll make that motion. Thank you. And a second. I'll second. Thank you.